with. Suggestions for finding out how many bacteria I started with. What do you want to do, James? Um, that A equals 600. Okay. Do I have to use the 600 one? No. No. I could use either one of the 615 or I could use the 16,054 and 35. But 600 is a smaller number, so it's kind of nice to go with the smaller number. So 600 equals? Um, P. because that's what I'm looking for, times? E to the R. E to the R, okay. R is the natural log of 1654 over 600 divided by, what was that again, 20? And then what? Times 15. Times 15, because that's the time, the number of minutes that goes with 600. If I'd been using 16,054 here, I would have needed to put 35 up there. Okay, now what? Plug in E to... Oh, hang on. Forget plug. What do I do now? Divide by 8. Not P. The whole side divided. This whole mess in the parentheses. Because I'm just looking for P. This mess in the parentheses is a number. James is trying to make me calculate that now, but I'm not going to bother. I'll calculate it when I have to, which is in a minute. So this will be 600 divided by the mess in the parentheses, which is e to the natural log of 16,054 over 600 divided by 20 times 15. All right, now, oh, and by the way, that's equal to p because that's all that's left now on the right side. Now I'll do that. Okay. 600 divided by this mess. E to the One point zero 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 eight three. Does everybody agree with that? Something close? So here's what I would do. I would take E to the natural. So are you one of these people who can enter it all or like pieces? Pieces. The natural log of this. No, I'm not going to. That doesn't matter. Then divide by 20. Then take e to that answer. Oh, no, wait, wait. Then multiply by 15 first, because that's in the exponent. Then take e to that answer. So that's where you do second ln, second answer. Answer is down here on the bottom next to the negative sign. And that'll put this answer in at the exponent. And then hit enter. And now you do 600 divided by that last answer. And that's the last step. So it comes out to be 51 plus a bunch of decimal places, which really looks like it ought to be 51 because we have to have whole bacteria. By the way, you have a problem like this in your homework. And when you work it out, it might accept 51 or it might accept 52 as the initial number of bacteria. But then for the rest of the problem, it will have whatever answer it thought the initial number of bacteria was, which could have been either 51 or 52. And you don't know which one. And if you get the, the initial size of the culture right, but then start getting all the answers after that wrong, email me. And I will tell you if it thinks the initial size of the culture 
was the 51 one as opposed to the 52 to 